The hen harrier is one of our most beautiful birds of prey. The males famous for their annual sky dances to attract a mate. And in a patch of moor in the Peak District, one pair is doing well. This nestling is the sixth to have been raised at this site in the last two years. She's in the process of having a satellite tag fitted to her back. If the, she stays in the sun, then we can tag her and watch her by the satellites for about three years. But this nest is the exception, not the rule. Last year in England, just nine pairs of hen harriers bred successfully. Partial to ground nesting birds like grouse, elements within the shooting industry see these rare and legally protected birds as fair game. These tags have helped prove it. What is it like being the person who puts the tags on these birds and then watching them disappear? It's heartbreaking. It really is. I mean, this bird is doing nothing. You know, she's just trying to make a living. She has absolutely no impact whatsoever on driven grouse shooting. That's the, their own data says that. You know, it's, it's no big deal. A government-funded study using satellite tag data found hen harriers were 10 times more likely to disappear over grouse moors than anywhere else. And while crimes get reported, like this one of a hen harrier being shot on a Scottish estate in 2013, few result in successful prosecutions. And it's not just hen harriers. Today, campaigners in Scotland revealed two golden eagles fitted with satellite tags last year had disappeared, tags and all, within hours of each other over a shooting estate. The estate in question told us it had been shocked to learn of the alleged killing and is appealing for more information on behalf of the police. The shooting industry in England also told us it condemns the illegal persecution of birds of prey and points to this nestling and its siblings reared on a grouse moor as an example of success. Conservationists agree with them up to a point. The tenants, the National Trust, the conservationists, RSPB, we're all working together. Last year the nest fledged hen harriers and this year it looks like it's going to fledge them again. The real twist in that though is once they leave the safety of this grouse moor and they go to neighbouring moors, they vanish. But perhaps monitoring this latest generation of hen harriers might help make their future a little less uncertain. Tom Clark, News at 10, the Peak District.